Okay, hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at chapter 6, ICT applications, 6.8 expert systems. Okay, so expert systems have been developed to mimic the expertise and knowledge of an expert in a particular field. Examples such as prospecting for oils and minerals, diagnostics, medical diagnosis, strategy games such as chess, tax and financial planning, route scheduling for delivery vehicles, identification of plants, animals, and chemical compounds. Now, there are a lot over here, but if you are to mention examples of expert system in a question, you can choose this one, um, this one, this one, and this one, because I haven't really seen this one, this one, and this one in the mark scheme yet. So let's just stick to the ones that we know are always going to be correct so these four so let's look at the advantages and disadvantages advantages are that they offer the highest level of expertise and high accuracy because a lot of experts are giving their expertise into this you have a lot of people uh, and high accuracy in it the results are consistent yes you don't um, because it's the like the expertise or the knowledge is fixed over there. Whatever questions you ask or no, they'll be all consistent throughout. Can store vast amount of ideas and facts. Can make traceable logical solutions and diagnostics. It's possible for an expert system to have multiple types of expertise, not necessarily just playing games or having or prospecting for oils and minerals. Maybe it can do this and this together. Then, provide unbiased reportings and analysis of the facts. They indicate the probability of the any suggested solution being correct. So, once you interact with the expert systems and it gives you a solution, it also gives you the probability of it happening or how likely it is. For example, if uh, you're doing a medical diagnosis and you give it your symptoms, at the end it will probably tell you that you have... Um, Okay, so after everything that's there, there's an 80% chance you have cholera. So it gives you that probability. Disadvantages is that users of the expert system need considerable training in its use to ensure the system is being used correctly. You need to ensure, you need to put in a lot of expert data into this and you need to give it a lot of training before it's deemed accurate. The setup and maintenance costs are very high. They tend to give very cold response, which may not be appropriate in certain medical situations. For example, maybe someone has um, lung cancer and they have only five months to live. This will give it a very cold answer. It would be, you're going to die in five months because you have lung cancer. Now that is not something tip that you can typically, typically tell a patient who is going to probably die in five months, right? Then they are only as good as the information or, or facts entered into the system. There's a fixed amount of knowledge in them. So only the knowledge that they have is what they can present. Users sometimes make the very danger, dangerous assumption that they are infallible. Infallible means that they are always correct and they are never wrong. So for example, with medical diagnosis, the symptoms may not be accurately given. And then the expert system may misunderstand them and give probably a solution or a diagnosis that's not in the favor of the patient. Now, people tend to believe that this is 100% correct, which is not always the case. Now, this expert systems has some few components, okay? So it has a user interface, it has inference engine, explanation system, knowledge base and rules base. Before we get to this, let's look at what each component does. So the user interface is the interface that interacts with the user. It asks questions to dialog box and command prompts. And then the user or the person using it will answer it through yes or no. And then it will ask more questions based on the previous answers that you gave. Explanation system is this informs the user of the reasoning behind the expert system's conclusion and recommendation. So whatever the diagnosis is or whatever it is, then the explanation will system will now explain why the uh, expert system thinks that this, 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 that, that, that. Okay. Then inference engine, it acts like a search engine examining the knowledge base for information or data that matches the query. It gathers information from the user by asking a series of questions and applying responses where necessary. This is a problem solving part of the expert system that makes use of inference uh, rules and the rules based. Because the knowledge base is a collection of objects and attributes, 
The inference engine attempts to find user information gathered from the user to find an object that matches. So the inference engine is what actually picks out the data from the knowledge base and rules base. So you have your knowledge base, you have rules base applied to it. Now the inference engine will take the data that it receives from the user interface and then it will put it or check through the knowledge base to see which one matches the most and then present it. Knowledge base is a repository of facts that stores all the knowledge about an area of expertise uh, obtained from various sources, usually experts of those fields. It's a collection of objects and attributes and then rules based. A set of inference rules that are applied by the inference engine to draw conclusions follows logical um, thinking involving a series of if statements, if and el uh, else if, else and all that. So now this is what happens, okay? The user interface will interact with the user, ask it questions, it will come there. It will go to the inference engine. Now this inference engine will take out, uh, will filter out the things that it gets from the knowledge base after applying the rules base to the knowledge base. Then every once it gets a conclusion, it will send it to explanation base system, which will then explain the user of everything that is there. And that is everything you need to know about expert system. I hope you liked the video. If you learned something new, make sure to like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, tell us.